chocolate nachos, a snack I invented with my best friend Paco, with some minor assistance from Rocco, Renee, and Flacco. But let me stop though, so I can tell you a little bit, or a lot, so you can understand that despicable, down low, underhanded, dirty, rotten, so and so named Rocco. See, Rocco is that bully from up the block, yo, who broke my yo yo, ate my Oreos, put rocks in my socks, he even broke my favorite CD by Tupac, that darn Rocco. He just comes in that day with his little sister Renee and her scraggly old teddy bear named Flacco and sticks his crummy little sausage fingers into our chocolate nachos. And well, it all started with me and Paco. We were trying to find a distraction, a deviation from his stepmom's gazpacho when we happened upon the aforementioned chocolate nachos. Now we almost invented the chocolate taco, but we Googled it and found they already got those. Now Paco swears it's all because he put in so many nachos, but I poured in the most chocolate. He must have forgot though. Well, you know Paco, he lies a lot though. Said his mom on the lotto when they went a lot, so you're gonna move away any day now. Anyway, anyhow, this is when Rocco comes bursting in through our unlocked door with her teddy bear and toe comes his little sister Renee who cries a lot though. Man, no matter what you try to do to get her to stop, hey yo Renee! How about some leftover party pretzels and a bowl of this delicious gazpacho? She started running away from us and screaming as if we had the chicken pox to work for the Gestapo. She ended up in the living room where she slipped on a slimy sock, tripped on the rug, swallowed a bug, and soiled her frock, yo. And that darn Rocco, that insufferable Rocco, pushes her over the line, says, Stop your crying, and all this time, Flacco, the bear, is flying through the air and almost lands the chocolate nachos, which would have been a catastrophe. Phew! Rocco leaps up in the air, catches the bear, but knocks over the entire pot of gazpacho and spills a bag of mini marshmallows. But he saved the chocolate nachos, so we just clean up the gazpacho and laugh until we cried. And then the tears in Renee's eyes just stopped, so we decided it was finally time to try these chocolate nachos. We approached it like new snack apostles. It was the true snack gospel. We each took a bite and instantly felt colossal. Chocolate nachos made even the impossible Rocco act less hostile. He slid over ever so slowly to me and Paco and said, was it possible if he, Renee, and Flacco could have chocolate nachos to go? And we said, heck no! Buddy, before we had a time to check the clock, yo, Rocco stole the whole bowl and ran out the front door. And I would like to tell you more about the tale of the chocolate nachos. But for now, that's all I got, yo. Chocolate nachos. Thank you. Thank you. Give it up for the band. They actually, like, didn't make those chocolate nachos, and they were pretty delicious. So, 